Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem, example 4.11 from Sadiku book. So this is about basic Norton's theorem. The question is, find the Norton equivalent circuit of the circuit in figure 4.39. This is the figure here at terminals AB. So there are three steps to find out the Norton equivalent uh, circuit. So the first one is to find out the Norton resistance. So Rn, N for Norton, and R for the resistance. And then the second one is to find out the Norton current, which is I N. And the last thing that we need to do is just draw the equivalent circuit. Okay, let's do it one by one. So the first step that we need to do is to find out the Norton resistance. Find Rn. Okay, how to do it? We replace the voltage source by short circuit. And then we replace the current source by open circuit. It is assuming that they are independent, right? So this is for independent sources. independent sources so let's redraw our circuit here we have two ampere current source so we replace it by open circuit so we don't need to draw it and then here we have a voltage source we replace this by short circuit so we have only four ohm resistor in that branch maybe let's draw the circuit in purple here so we will have four ohm here okay that will be good and then the rest is just redrawing the circuit okay we have that 8 ohm there and then here we have 5 ohm here 5 ohm and then we have another 8 ohm here Ohm. and we see it from the terminal A and B right so we need to find out this here the Norton resistance which is the same as RAB in this case okay let's see the circuit here we have this series resistor here right there they are three in series eight four and eight so we can just add them up right so rab is equal to that series resistance 8 plus 4 plus 8 but then they are in parallel with this 5 ohm so we need to make it parallel with 5 okay let's calculate that 8 plus 4 is 12, 12 plus 8 is 20, so we will have 20 in parallel with 5. Or we can calculate this by 20 times 5 divided by 20 plus 5. And then we will have 100, 20 times 5 is 100, 20 plus 5 is 25. And so we will have 4 ohm. And so we will have the Norton equivalent. I mean the Norton resistance is for here. And this is the first important value. Good. Now let's move on to the second step, which is find the Norton current. Okay. Let's erase this first. So the second step is to find the Norton current. So we'll have find i n what is i n i n is the current when a b is shorted so we will have short circuit current short circuit current a b okay let's redraw the circuit here 
let's use purple like we've used so we will have two ampere here and then what can we get from there we will have that four ohm resistor okay we'll have four ohm and then we will have 12 volt voltage source have 12 volt here and that is good and then i will have that 8 ohm resistor here and then another 8 ohm 8 ohm okay and then this is 5 ohm resistor but we need to short a b right so this is a and this is b and because this is shorted all the current will pass through this and not via this 5 ohm resistor so we don't need to write this 5 ohm resistor okay and i think the easiest way to do this is by using kvl here which is let's name this i n right because this is i norton and here we have another loop here but we know exactly the current here so this is two ampere good so we need to do kvl at loop i n kvl at loop i n kvl said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero okay let's start from this voltage source the current is flowing from the negative terminal to positive terminal so we will have minus 12 okay and then we will have 4 but this is resistance we need voltage so we multiply it by the current and we are working on i n so i n come first but here 2 ampere flowing to the opposite direction so we'll have minus 2 ampere here okay and then we will have plus i will have 8 i n here from this component and also 8 ohm multiplied by i n so we'll have 8 i n all of that will equal to zero and let's do some simplification 8 plus 8 is 16 16 plus 4 is 20 i think yeah 20 i n and then minus 12 minus 8 so we'll have minus 20 and that will equal to zero which is very nice equation so we can isolate i n here i 20 i n is equal to 20 and so i n is equal to 20 divided by 20 which is one and the unit is ampere so we got the norton current which is one ampere okay and finally we do the last step which is drawing the equivalent circuit which is i n in parallel with r n so we will have this one ampere in parallel with the resistance there which is four ohm we will have four ohm and that is terminal A and this is terminal B and this is the final answer of this this problem thank you for watching and then see you in the next video bye bye